5 Reasons Kavras Kingdom is a money grab scheme. Hey guys, your favorite Roblox news reporter is finally here. I'm right. My farts will give you pink eye. Today we are reviewing Kavras Kingdom. This game exploits and makes use of children to earn revenue on Roblox. The Roblox player base consists mostly of underage children, preteens, teenagers, and young adults who don't have a life. Let's dive deeper into the top 5 reasons Kavras Kingdom is a money grab scheme. Number 5, AFK Room. Kavras Kingdom benefits from having players AFK within their game. They earn premium payouts from premium user joins and playtime. Footage from 2022 shows Kavras Kingdom has been encouraging players to stay in game and AFK, away from keyboard, overnight, during school or holiday. Footage from 2023 shows even more players in the AFK room, despite the AFK instructions being removed. Kavras Kingdom has conditioned children to AFK in-game for their own benefit. Number 4, Awards. Kavras Kingdom rewards players who have reached a minimum playtime and certain XP, experience, levels. At award ceremonies are held every 3 hours. You must earn XP exactly 25 minutes worth. Being in game for 25 minutes will do you no good. Rewarding the player will make them feel achieved, however all they achieved was sitting in a chair for hours on end, just to get a better rank than they are now. Number 3, Jobs. Players are encouraged to work in a virtual game free labor. Not to mention Roblox is comprised mostly of children, which is even worse child labor. Kids are working online within a game to earn a rank up within this fictional community. However, only the owners of Kavras Kingdom will benefit from this. They also receive a sales percentage from the game passes. Number 2, Promotional Content. Plastered on the walls and around the castle, are posters encouraging players to invite their friends so they may be more inclined to stay and work in-game. I have also seen players with booths promoting sale of game passes. Pop-ups have appeared on my screen as well, advertising Kavras Kingdom YouTube channel and asking for subs. These pop-ups are based on rank, so far I've seen two. Pop-up notifications include Game Pass Shop and YouTube Sub. Every 10 minutes, the pop-up will occur. Everywhere within the game has promotional content and advertisement for their useless game passes. In order to fully play the game, you must join the group. For a free speed coil, you must like and favorite the game. Number 1, Discord. Kavras Kingdom knows fully well the general age range of the Roblox player base. Comprised mostly of children with ages below the age of consent, they actively advertise their community server on Discord. Now what is Discord you may ask? Discord is an online chat application for gamers. If your kids are under the legal age of consent, you best not catch them on Discord. This is an online platform that many people from around the world can access. People of all ages can easily talk, text, or video call with children at the click of a button. Minors easily lie about their age, holding blatant disregard for Discord age requirement. Thus, minors and adults can be inside of the same community server and have easy access to contact each other. I realize this moment may not be the most convenient for a heart to heart. But I had to wait until your friends <laughs> were otherwise occupied. Why am I so infatuated with Kavras Kingdom? Kavras Kingdom is based on a social pyramid. You know what else rhymes with pyramid? Pyramid scheme. This game exists solely to benefit financially off of sales and premium payouts. Sure, there is lore and the people behind Kavras Kingdom worked hard on this game, but only to keep things more relevant for the players. 
that concludes why Kavras Kingdom is a money grab scheme.